Constantine. We're on Season 1, Episode 4. It's called A Feast of Friends. So, guys, last episode was actually really good. Actually, it was probably one of my favorite episodes for the Constantine so far. Uh, I love the, uh, the effects of the episode. And I do love the... Uh, well, I don't love the Acetine. The Acetine's actually freaking... It's, free, it's freaky. It's like a, scare, a really scary record. Like, if you play, if you hear it, it's going to make you do things that you don't want to do. Like, kill yourself. Or... It's just so you know really freaky crazy stuff that i don't even understand at all but the episode was interesting it was really cool i liked it personally uh you know when he they, when they were talking to the old guy about it he freaked out because he was the one that hit the s team uh, record and then you know the daughter got to it when he she wanted to listen to it well it's making it was making her want to listen to it you know she grabbed it they they had to save her from it uh, I think we, I think there was a guy named Midnight, if that was his name. I think that was his name. Yeah, he wanted the uh, ass team as well, but of course Constantine is like, no, you're not gonna get that thing. So, but yeah, I mean that was a really good episode. I mean I definitely can't wait to see the next one to see what's gonna go on, man. But uh, so far I'm like the Constantine. I think I think it's a pretty decent show. Uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm not really too bored with the show. But uh, yeah, I'm having a pretty good time with it. Even when it got canceled, uh, someone told me because of, it was had low ratings. So I guess it, I mean, there's other shows that are better than the Constantine, in my opinion. But I think it was pretty decent because I've seen worse shows than this. I've seen worse, and this is not one of them at all. But yeah, definitely can't wait to get to the next episode, guys. So let's check this out. Grab a little more. Yes. Hello. Nothing to declare, huh? Sir. Nothing. Oh, damn. Our tomb to Atlanta. Tell me about the bottle. Um, it's, it's an antique. Oh, please. Don't touch it. Here's the wrinkle, Mr. Lester. This ain't my first rodeo. Look, I'm more than you, man. This is not a game. Don't open the bottle. <laughs> Showing flashes of precognition, retrocognition, clair tangents. You're a real bitter. Come again? A uh, bitter, you know, you got bits of everything in you. A break in. Oh, great. Pretty clumsy one, too. John! John, is that you? Well, oh, bugger me. It's Gary Bloody Lester. It's been a long time, guys. I haven't seen you since uh, Newcastle. No. I know. You know, nobody knew where you went, guys. You just vanished. I, I just got lost in it all. I, I don't even know how, but next thing I know, I'm in Sudan, and uh, I'm looking to get off. As soon as I saw him, I knew. Ooh, what the he hell's these, that? These containment markings all over his face. You know, the power patterns for binding. Some bastard had trapped a demon in it. I knew what I had to do. This was my chance to make up for Newcastle. This is my chance. It's like an irresistible passion just seized me. Ew. I did it, John. I trapped a demon in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that is so gross. Looks like the Star of David. No, this is the Seal of Solomon. And this is the Taba at Shlomo, known as the Ring of Solomon. It was passed down to Solomon directly from heaven to trap genies. No! No! Oh no! <laughs> Ew! I 
card is so useful. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? There were bugs. Lots of bugs. When the woman died, they just came up out of her like a swarm. What happened to them after they left the woman? Well, that's where it gets real crazy because they just flew into a swarm. And then there was this guy, and all just flew right into him. You happened to catch the name of the company the delivery guy worked for? There was a pig and a cow dancing on his shirt. Dancing, were they? Wow. That's something I'd like to see. Thanks a lot. Is there anyone in here? Oh, man. But <laughs> zero. Anyone in here still alive? Preferably not possessed and feeling peckish. There you are. Hello. Uh, Joe. This is so uncomfortable. Derech Elohim. Akoach Salshlom. Michael Vodra. Get the Lafala. No! Okay, they're in there for now. <laughs> What's he smelling at? Not hungry? Not particularly, mate. I expected you sooner. Afraid it's less a case of runny nose. More a case of nasty hunger demon. Need answers to finish it off. I can guide you through it, but you need to see it the way I do, through my eyes. Oh, bloody hell. How do we know to take the next one? <laughs> Ew, what the hell? Yuck, what? A sacred Kusa knife, used for the scarification, passed down by generations of shaman. Nimoth couldn't resist the offering. Upon entering the boy, he began oh, consuming man. him. But as the demon was now trapped by the containment markings, the shaman left, knowing it would ultimately consume the boy. What are the odds the kid lands himself in the one bloody alley that Gary Lester stumbles into? <laughs> Take it slowly, my friend. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. It's not my first disco. Sorry, I just feel so trapped in here. I beat that demon once. I can do it again. No. I didn't want to do this. You didn't give me a choice. It's my responsibility <laughs> to stop it. Sorry. Got it. What I tell you two about keeping your hands to yourself? Not as funny as you think. What happened? You are a massive pain in the ass, Gary Lester. Friends don't betray each other. I betrayed you. I betrayed her. You know what I always say, guys? Everyone has the capacity to change. I've heard you say that before. Yeah. Exactly. Get in you, mate. We've got a demon to catch. I'm too elaborate, just a simple distraction. Then you break in and steal the bloody Kusa knife. It's not rocket surgery. Me? Rocket surgery? Are you sure? All the faith in the world, old son. Now, you might want to stand back. Oh, come on. You sure you really want to go through with this? It's just a bit of glass. It's easy to replace. Not what I'm talking about. And you know it. I can do this. Right. I'm off then. Well, that's what they need. Very nice. What? And now, let's see a plie. Oh, <laughs> I think I saw that left heel wobble a bit. Otherwise, perfect. How long is he going to be under for? <laughs> Until the music stops. The alarm. So what's the plan, then? This demon requires a sacrifice. That's what I learned from the shaman. Only a body. 
a live human body. What? We could draw straws. It was your plan all along, wasn't it? John, why would you do that? You sneaky bastard. Wow, John. No better way to go on, John Constantine. I'm proud of you guys. Is he really gonna do this? Willingly? Minilla will bit our men and moth. Well, I'm right. Meltehima. Minilla Fus. Oh! Hold it, Emmett. <laughs> Need to get him inside and into a secure room. You put the demon inside of him? There was no other way. You're sacrificing him. You're sacrificing your friend's life. It was his choice and it was a brave one. You need to respect that. I loved him. You betrayed him. All I cared about was to make you proud of him for what, John? You wanted to be just like you. Thank God he's not. He came to me! I told you this would happen. People around me died. If you can't handle it, then go. Oh! sad well guys that was a pretty good episode for the constantine that was pretty sad at the end you know i mean the way john went across like went about it is like it seemed like he really backstabbed him and you know uh manipulated him into doing this but look honestly gary could have walked away he could have did that but he didn't do that he just sat there and he took it in now he's gonna pretty much die in a few days it's gonna be pretty pretty painful life i mean painful death if you want to say you know zed you know just wants Constantine to understand that, you know, you could save these people or whatever, but, I mean, he had to do whatever he had to do to save countless lives, because, you know, that, that demon is, like, he says, like, the most powerful demon ever. I mean, definitely going from person to person is going to continue to do that until everyone's gone, basically. So, he had to do whatever he had to do to make sure he could save everyone else, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. But with the demon, man, he was, like, this demon was so nasty with, like, when he's going to different people's bodies and it coming out of it. It was so freaking gross. And this is, like, it's, like, after, it's just seeing the bodies, man, are just so disgusting. That's, like, all I can remember is those bodies, the way they look and the way their faces look. But, yeah, definitely can't wait to see the next episode, guys. So, please post your comments down below. Tell me what you think about this episode for Constantine. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, don't feel like in the video, please hit the sub to the channel. And, guys, please check out the Patreon page. I appreciate any support that comes around. And also, please go check out my online store uh, to get one of these shirts if you're interested in it. Guys, stay focused, stay motivated. See you next Constantine.